first, we have special guest in the studio, Cesar Becerra. Cesar is walking his way across the USA. Cesar, how you doing? Good afternoon. Great, Trevor. I'm, um, I'm feeling great on this very, very chilly, chilly day. Yeah, you picked a brisk time to come to mid-Missouri. The walk is called the World Walk for Diabetes. Information about Caesar's walk is at planetcaesar.com, and that's spelled planet the conventional way, C-E-S-A-R.com. World Walk for Diabetes. Uh, first off, why diabetes? Why diabetes? Well, five years ago, my life changed drastically. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And certainly, as I know today, it's, it's obviously not the end of the world. But at that time, for me, it felt like totally the end of the world. And I slipped into... For the first time in my life, a real deep depression, and uh, and I was told a bunch of things. I got to take these drugs. I can't eat this. I got to go exercise. And I was, literally, without a doubt, the king of all couch potatoes. I prided myself on being quite lazy and probably, unfortunately, not too uh, great on my eating habits. So this was a radical, radical change. And uh, initially, I got on some prescription medications that really were just horrid to my system. And uh, I asked the doctor, "Well, doc, what else can I do?" And he said, well, there's one more thing you can do if you're willing to, is, is exercise regularly. And uh, those that know me know that I'm a bit of an extremist, so uh, I went ahead and hiked the 2,160-mile Appalachian Trail from Maine to Georgia. Uh, and that cured me, one, of my lazy habits, but the second thing it did is it addicted me wonderfully to walking. So. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to walk. So you did that... About five years ago? About, about uh, three and a half years ago I did the Appalachian Trail and uh, when that ended, uh, you know, my feet still wanted to go somewhere uh, and I had bumped into one of the four world walkers at a hikers conference that I was giving my talk at and I just couldn't believe it. I said, wait a second, hold on, this guy walked around the world? Is that even possible? And of course, you know, the head starts clanging, the machinery starts going, and I said, you know what, I think I can do it. Uh, no diabetic has done a world walk. So if I do it, I'd be the fifth person to go walk around the world, but also the first to uh, walk with diabetes, which, again, I don't, I, I don't see it as a, you know, a hindrance or the end of the world. In fact, I always say, just because I have diabetes doesn't mean diabetes has me. That's sort of my, my motto. And so I'm here to preach or to have an awareness that uh, one way to help yourself out um, if you do have diabetes, and if you don't have diabetes, because it is one of the growing epidemics, type 2 diabetes due to sedentary lifestyle and uh, uh, poor eating habits, etc., is to get out there and walk. Now, you, now, please don't take away from this that you got to go walking for thousands of miles, even a good half an hour a day, half an hour every other day. It, it really doesn't uh, matter. As long as you're out there working, it certainly helps everything from, if you are diabetic, your numbers should stay more regularly or, or get a little bit uh, not as, um, you know, lean on the drugs as much uh, so you can, you know, live a, a healthy lifestyle, so. Now you're, not doing, you're not doing this walk in one, in one fell swoop. No, you're doing no. You're in, in different legs. Yes, uh, no in pun, fact, no, pun no, no, <laughs> well, or pun intended, uh, I'm a bit of a simplistic uh, guy who just it sort of listens to when is the next time that the trail is actually calling me? So I take, I'm infamous for taking lots of breaks along the way. So I started this uh, journey in 2004, so it's been about three years, and I've done about 2,000 miles roughly from Key West, where I began my walk, to about Clinton, Missouri, which is actually where I'm at now. I just finished the uh, Katy Trail in late November, but I am, I love to hang around and visit people, and I also have different jobs that I, I'm employed as well. So I do it around my work schedule. So. Uh, but I'm back here to sort of, you know, I see the World Walk and even the Appalachian Trail in a very radical way. I came up with a new uh, revolution in, in the, in the long-distance hiking world called thorough hiking instead of through hiking. And that means take a lot of breaks and every time a road crosses your trail, use that as a highway to see America or other parts of the world. Um, thorough hiking <laughs> reminds me of about, I guess, three years ago, I decided I was going to run the Columbia Marathon. Uh -huh. And I signed up for it. It's a, it's a tough race. And I ended up not finishing, but that's another story. I ran most of it. Good. But when I looked at the at the website of people who finished the year before, there was a guy on there from Japan. He actually his name had a link, so I clicked on it. And this guy goes around the world, participating in marathons, not racing marathons. His time in the in the Columbia Marathon, he finished in like 2004 in something like five and a half hours, which 
you know, bully for him that he finished, but five and a half hours is not um, not a phenomenal record setting or anything. Exactly, and he'd done many. But when you click on his website, a bunch of it's in Japanese, and I didn't get that. But the part in English talked about how when he was running, um, and he actually had a, a, a section in there about the Columbia Marathon. The Columbia Marathon will take you down south of Columbia along the river, back up through um, Easley and Sap, up some beautiful okay. territory along the, along the Missouri River. And he talked about how much he loved stopping and taking pictures because he'd never seen so much beautiful, uh, so many beautiful hills and grass and the cows and, and, and you know, things that we might tend to take for granted, especially if you were out there laboring to run 26.2 miles. So when you talk about thorough uh, hiking or, or thorough walking, that, that gentleman pops in mind. Stop and smell the roses. It's uh, the three things that I say is slower, lighter. Uh, I am an ultra lightweight packer. I mean, I, I you won't see me more sometimes in the summer with more than ten pounds on my back, and in the winter something like fifteen or twenty. Even when I hike the Appalachian.